साथियों यही रास्ता है आत्मनिर्भर भारत Social science teacher is using augmented reality to keep students engaged and interested. Akash Marcos from Kotiyam village is on a mission of his own. He is a student of 6th standard and as soon as the lockdown began and schooling shifted to the virtual world he learned to assemble a computer by upcycling e-waste Artificial intelligence is a tribute to human intellectual power. We want India to become a global hub for AI. India is rapidly expanding its optical fiber network. The aim is to provide every village with high speed internet connectivity. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Cellular Operators Association of India and the Department of Telecommunications, Government of India, I am your host Rini Simon Khanna, welcoming all delegates, speakers and participants who are joining us this morning from all across the world for the 4th edition of the India Mobile Congress 2020. This year a virtual event. Over the years The India Mobile Congress has emerged as the largest digital technology forum in South Asia. The theme of IMC this year is inclusive innovation, smart, secure, sustainable. We are honored to have the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, to inaugurate the event. We're also immensely thankful to and welcome the Union Minister of Communications Electronics and Information Technology and Law and Justice Mr Ravi Shankar Prasad 
the Minister of State for Communications, Education and Electronics and Information Technology, Mr. Sanjay Dhotre. The Chairman DCC and Secretary Telecommunications, Department of Telecommunications, Mr. Anshu Prakash. The Chairman of Bharti Enterprises, Mr. Sunil Bharti Mittal. And the Chairman of Reliance Industries, Mr. Mukesh Ambani. May I now request the Chairman DCC and Secretary Telecommunications, Mr. Anshu Prakash, to please give the welcome address. Good morning. Namaskar. Honorable Prime Minister of India, Honorable Union Minister for Communications, Electronics and Information Technology, Law and Justice, Honorable Union Minister of State for Communications, Education, Electronics and IT, Shri Mukesh Ambani Ji, Chairman Reliance Industries, Shri Sunil Bharti Mittal Ji, Chairman Bharti Enterprises, Distinguished Delegates, Esteemed Guests and Participants from India and abroad, Friends from the Media, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of Department of Telecommunications and COAI, it gave me great pleasure to welcome all of you for the India Mobile Congress 2020. This is the fourth India Mobile Congress and the first one being held virtually. We are blessed that this India Mobile Congress is being inaugurated with the address of Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji. He has always been a source of inspiration and encouragement for the telecom sector to scale new heights towards achieving the objective of Digital India. India Mobile Congress is the largest telecom technology event in South Asia. We are expecting nearly 160 exhibitors more than 30 startups and in the three-day event 300 plus CXOs and 110 speakers there will also be more than 30 conference sessions the expected visitors will exceed 15,000 though COVID-19 is a pandemic Indian telecom sector was able to demonstrate its strengths in dealing with this situation. Our networks did not fail us even for a single day. The massive data consumption surge was accommodated quite easily. All stakeholders in the telecom sector deserve full praise for this success. The telecom sector provides the backbone for digital communication. It is a sector which will shape our future. Whether industry 4.0, machine to machine communication, internet of things, robotics, artificial intelligence, augmented and virtual reality, all such applications and technologies will ride on telecom. IMC 2020 will provide the platform to showcase technology and innovation. There will be ample opportunity for networking, for business, for dialogue on policy and technology, and of course, opportunity for startups to reach key decision makers. The theme of IMC, inclusive, innovations, smart, secure, sustainable, is very appropriate. Inclusive because we want to bridge the digital divide. The difference between haves and have nots, between the rich and the poor, the rural and urban areas. 
innovation because the emphasis has to be on leveraging technology for new products, new processes, giving the consumer value for money, ease of living, and of course, ease of doing business. The focus on star smart implies we want intelligent products and security is all encompassing whether it is for network or of data or for all communication and all this must be sustainable meaning environment friendly it should utilize resources in an environment friendly manner and we must strive towards achieving the sustainable development goals we do look forward to an exciting three days of IMC. I again take this opportunity to welcome all of you. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Mr. Prakash, for that hearty welcome. May I now take the opportunity to invite the Chairman of Reliance Industries, Mr. Mukesh Ambani, to speak to us. Respected Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi Ji. Honorable Minister, Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad Ji. Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to each and every one of you. In four short years, the Indian Mobile Congress has grown enormously in prestige and impact. It has already earned a proud place in the annual calendar of global conversations on digital technologies. This is because of India's two unique strengths, which the world has now fully recognized. One is the confluence of the three Ds, India's vibrant democracy, India's young demography, and India's digital transformation. The other is the visionary and the dynamic leadership of our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji. Respected Pradhan Mantri ji, your Digital India mission has made our country highly resilient in the face of the toughest of adversities. The outbreak of COVID-19 posed life-threatening challenges, but our high-speed 4G connectivity infrastructure has proved to be India's digital lifeline. Throughout 2020, India worked online, studied online, shopped online, received healthcare online, socialized online, played online. Simply put, India thrived online. This underscores the phenomenal evolution of digital technology in India. From being a means of limited engagement and entertainment, it has evolved into a platform of unlimited enablement and empowerment. Despite the lockdown, the entire industry consisting of thousands of engineers and employees worked round the clock to provide critical support 24 by 7 to all sections of the society and business. The government supported the industry to go the extra mile in keeping these critical services going during this period. They deserve our appreciation and gratitude. Honorable Prime Minister, with great admiration and enthusiasm, the nation has welcomed your announcement about the early availability of an affordable COVID vaccine. The pandemic will surely be behind us soon in 2021. Under your leadership, India will welcome the new decade with supreme confidence. The Indian economy will not only bounce back, but will also grow with unprecedented acceleration. India can and India will prove cynics wrong by becoming a $5 trillion economy. It will be a more equal India with increased incomes, increased employment, and improved quality of life for 1 billion Indians at the middle and the bottom of the economic pyramid. India has the historic opportunity to become the world's preeminent digital society with ease of living for all. My conviction comes from the enormous transformative power 
of digital technologies. Permit me, therefore, to present briefly four ideas for your consideration. One, as many as 300 million mobile subscribers in India are still trapped in the 2G era. Urgent policy steps are needed to ensure that these underprivileged people have an affordable smartphone so that they too can benefit from direct benefit transfer into their bank accounts and actively participate in the digital economy. Two, India is today among the best digitally connected nations in the world. In order to maintain this lead, policy steps are needed to accelerate early rollout of 5G and to make it affordable and available everywhere. I assure you that Jio will pioneer the 5G revolution in India in the second half of 2021. It will be powered by indigenous developed network, hardware and technology components. Jio's 5G service will be a testimony to your inspiring vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Three, I can say with utmost confidence that 5G will enable India to not only participate in the fourth industrial revolution, but also to lead it. Geo Platforms, with its family of over 20 startup partners, has built world-class capabilities in artificial intelligence, cloud computing, big data and machine learning, Internet of Things, mixed and virtual reality cloud, and blockchain. We are creating compelling homegrown solutions in education, healthcare, agriculture, infrastructure, financial services, and new commerce. Each of these solutions, once proven in India, will be offered to the rest of the world to address global challenges. Four, as digitization of the Indian economy and Indian society picks up speed, the demand for digital hardware will grow enormously. We cannot rely on large-scale imports in this area of critical national need. Thanks to the Honorable Minister Sri Ravi Shankar Prasadji's efforts, many leading global companies are coming to India to set up manufacturing facilities. India has developed world-class trends in chip design. I clearly foresee India becoming a major hub for state-of-the-art semiconductor industry. When all stakeholders work together, we can surely ensure that India's success in hardware will match our success in software. Friends, we are about to step into a glorious decade of the India story, with the Digital India mission playing the role of the principal accelerator. Nothing can stop India's rise, not even COVID-19. This is our chance to create history. Let us do it. Let us do it together under the leadership of our Prime Minister. I wish all of you the best of health and a happy new year in advance. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ambani. We always look forward to hearing from you. It gives me immense pleasure now to invite the Chairman of Bharti Enterprises, Mr. Sunil Bharti Mittal, to address the conclave. Thank you very much, uh, Sri Anshu Prakashji. I am delighted to be once again part of India Mobile Congress, an event which has gained in strength over the years and now is really a true representative of the digital industry digital ambitions and the digital dreams of 1.3 billion people. As I look forward to uh, the participation of our Honorable Minister Sri Ravi Shankar Prasadji and uh, Sri Sanjay Dhotriji, I am very eagerly uh, looking forward to the address of our Prime Minister, Honorable Sri Narendra Modi ji, who has been uh, one of the moving uh, forces behind creating a digital sensation, digital wave, and digital awareness in our country. Uh, we are all very blessed to have uh, in him a leader 
who understands the power of technology, who understands the problem of uh, uh, the people across the country, especially in the far flung and rural area, and has put at the heart of India's growth agenda, a digital India mission. Uh, we are all uh, rallied by that uh, clarion call of the prime minister and have been working endlessly and with a great deal of resources and effort in fulfilling India's dream of being a digitally savvy society. The onset of uh, pandemic that we have all been victims of around the globe has actually accelerated the uh, digital uh, adoption of various products and services. We may not have been able to achieve many of the things that we are seeing today for several more years, but the force multiplier of this pandemic has been in some sense a boon for the digitalization of our country. I'm very proud uh, to be participating in this IMC as one of the first private sector entrepreneurs in India in way back in 1981-82 uh, when I entered the telecom industry. I am really encouraged to see the strides that our country has made from being one of our long years of wait for a telephone connection to now a mobile phone, a broadband connection available on tap at most affordable prices to any and everybody. I'm sure it delights all of you to see uh, the poorest of the poor in deep rural areas now enjoying the fruits of connected onto a broadband mobile phone and be able to access various government services, subsidies, Aadhaar, and importantly, procure products and services sitting far away through his broadband connections. As India takes vital steps and important steps into the next generation of technologies, I'm very pleased to say that Airtel is taking the lead in every sphere. Today, uh, not only we provide a very uh, vast 4G services across the country and our leaders in many parts of India and growing our businesses uh, in every uh, circle that is offering mobile services. We have also stepped up on our other businesses, be that fixed line telephony or rather the fiber to home, uh, the enterprise business, our businesses with the government agencies, our businesses on in, especially on the digital side of partnering with the best global and Indian companies to provide products and services to our customers. Fiber rollout has been extensive and we are excited about the prospects of joining hands with BharatNet to cover more and more of India to fiber connectivity. I'm in particularly very excited about the upcoming 5G, which in the next two or three years should start to become the norm in the mobile broadband space. As the world settles down on the 5G space, pricing of the equipment comes down, and importantly, the devices start getting available in plentiful. I think India, to my mind, in two or three years' time, will be ready to receive the benefit of all the uh, investments that the globe would have made onto the 5G standard and 5G ecosystem. I'm particularly very excited about Airtel's entry or Bharti Enterprises' entry into space, the next frontier of communications. Here again, our Prime Minister has shown tremendous foresight in putting out a consultation paper to invite private sector into space industry to launch satellites, to manufacture satellites, to start satellite communications. And I'm glad that we have taken an early call in partnership with the British government to set up world's first LEO constellation uh, satellite system to provide broadband connectivity to every square inch of the world. I have no doubt, given India's lead in the space industry and ISRO and uh, the Department of Space uh, uh, call to private sector, we should start to see advantages moving in India's favor in the space communication industry as well. In closing, I would like to say, uh, we are very excited to be a part of the digital ecosystem. We are contributing immensely to it. Every person 
uh, in Airtel and Bharti ecosystem is doing its very best to ensure that we accelerate the digital dream of India. We serve our people in the most fruitful and meaningful way so that the absence of some of the physical infrastructure is mitigated by the digital ecosystem and infrastructure. I wish this conference great success and I look forward to participation uh, throughout the day today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mittal. It is so inspiring to listen to telecom stalwarts such as you. May I now request the Honorable Minister of State for Communications, Education and Electronics and IT, Mr. Sanjay Dhotre, to address the Congress. Honorable Prime Minister of India, respected Sri Narendra Modi ji, Honorable Minister of Communications, Law and Justice and Electronics and IT, respected Sri Ravishankar Prasad ji, Chairman DCC and Secretary Telcom, Government of India, Sri Anshu Prakash ji, Sri Mukesh Ambani ji, Chairman Reliance Industries Limited, Sri Sunil Bharti Mittal ji, Chairman Bharti Enterprises, National and International Guest, Distinguished Delegates, Friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, very warm welcome to all of you to this virtual international conference and exhibition, India Mobile Congress IMC 2020, organized by Department of Telecommunications along with Cellular Operators Association of India, COAI and other stakeholders, the largest event in South and Southeast Asia in telecommunications. I am glad to share with all that the previous years have received tremendous appreciation and participation from across the globe. I am happy to see that despite the COVID-19 pandemic, the event is being organized on virtual platform at such a large scale. It is important that we shall realize the role of telecom and technology in socio-economic development of the nation. This year's theme for India Mobile Congress 2020 is inclusive, innovation, smart, secure, sustainable, some sit up. The prominence and importance of ICT sector to make our nation resilient could not have been emphasized more than what we experienced during this pandemic. The sector has been a talk bearer and deserves praise for its relentless services throughout the pandemic. Despite the surge in data during the lockdown period, the network ne remained resilient and enabled the nation to live from its digital journey. Dear friends, during the lockdown, the telecom service providers helped the government containing the COVID-19 virus in the country. A lot was done in education and awareness of the COVID-19 related information by conveying messages through pre-call announcement, ring back toll. Government appreciates the role played by TSPs in facilitating contact tracing, enabling COVID-19 quarantine alert and many more. There was an increase of about 30% in internet consumption with many subscribers upgrading their broadband plans to meet the higher data requirements during this period. Our government's Digital India Initiative built on back of the Aadhaar, Jandhan Yojana and mobile connectivity helped drive the use of digital payments. On the other hand, with schools closed across the country, technology and connectivity played a significant role in creating online education, the new norm. All of this was enabled through a robust collaboration of technology and communication. Under the visionary and dynamic leadership of our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, our government has placed considerable emphasis on growth of internet and broadband in the country as part of its Digital India campaign. Mobile has now emerged as the main platform for internet access in India, bringing connectivity to many previously unconnected populations, also giving rise to technological innovations, startups, culture and entrepreneurship. Efforts are being made to address the digital divide by extending inclusive internet access to every Indian as mobile technology looks to empower the masses and becomes the critical means of accessing a broad range of service 
पब्लिक सर्विसेस एनेबलिंग एफिशिएंट ई गवर्नेंस इंडिया लीव टूअर्ड्स वायरलेस ब्रॉडबैंड कैन बी द ड्राइविंग फोर्स ऑफ द इकोनॉमी गोइंग फॉरवर्ड ऑन द बैक ऑफ रैपिडली रेजिंग डाटा कंजम्पशन एंड डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ नेसेसरी सर्विसेस टेक्नोलॉजी बाय सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स राइजिंग कंजम्पशन ऑफ डेटा बाय कंज्यूमर्स इंक्रीजिंग हैज ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर द गवर्नमेंट टू रीच आउट टू वीकर एंड मार्जिनलाइज ग्रुप्स एंड अनेबल सोशल प्रोग्रेस बाय प्रोवाइडिंग सर्विसेस दैट वी आर प्रीवियसली नॉट फिजिबल टैपिंग इन टू दीज अपॉर्चुनिटीज कैन अनलॉक द नेक्स्ट फेज ऑफ ग्रोथ फॉर द इंडियन इकोनॉमी डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजीज आर कंसिडर्ड एज नेसेसरी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स टू इंप्रूव द लेवल ऑफ पार्टिसिपेशन एंड एंगेजमेंट ऑफ सिटीजन्स इन सोसायटल एक्टिविटीज दे ऑफर गवर्नमेंट्स द पॉसिबिलिटी टू स्ट्रीमलाइन एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म देअर कम्युनिकेशन प्रोसेसेस एंड रिलेशनशिप विथ सिटीजन्स बिजनेस एंड अदर नॉन गवर्नमेंट एक्टर्स थ्रू मल्टीपल डिजिटल चैलेंज पार्टिसिपेशन एंगेजमेंट एंड एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ सिटीजन्स आर पार्ट ऑफ लार्जर ट्रेन टूअर्ड्स इम्प्लिमेंटिंग द डिजिटल बाय डिफॉल्ट एंड ओपन गवर्नमेंट प्रिंसिपल्स द लेटर इज एम डैट इंक्रीजिंग द ट्रांसपरसी एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑपरेशन एंड ऑपरेशन ऑफ पब्लिक सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स एंड इन टर्म बिल्डिंग ट्रस्ट बिटवीन सिटीजन्स एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड बिटवीन द गवर्नमेंट एंड द गवर्निंग दिस इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू ब्रिंग सिटीजन्स क्लोजर टू गवर्नमेंट एंड पॉलिटिकल इंस्टीट्यूशन इट गिव्स द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सिटीजन्स टू एक्ट एज एडवाइजर्स पार्टनर्स एंड ऑडिटर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट्स लीडिंग टू अ हायर लेवल ऑफ शेयर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बिटवीन गवर्नमेंट्स एंड सिटीजन्स टू टैकल सोसायटल चैलेंजेस that hamper the development of sustainable and resilient states and societies we are at an interesting juncture in the technology journey with the advent of futuristic technologies such as 5g and iot india is gearing up to embrace this new digital future with our focus on 5g readiness and the facilitation of new technology adoption across sectors i am happy to share with you that iis is not only india's biggest emerging technology expo but also comprises of an international conference on digital technologies iis has established itself as a leading platform for bringing together the industry government academia and other ecosystem players iis endeavors to discuss deliberate and display the latest industry technology trends around major themes such as 5g artificial intelligence ai internet of things iot data analytics cloud and edge computing blockchain open source data privacy and cyber security smart cities logistics and automation the event also facilitates and act as platform for various business deal closures among the stakeholders we expect that many collaborative states will emerge from the discussions during the close of this three days of the inc i wish all you all the best for it and also wishing for great success of this event thank you jai hind jai bharat thank you mr minister sir May I now request the Honorable Minister for Communications, Electronics and Information Technology and Law and Justice, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, to please share his thoughts. Honorable the Prime Minister of India, Minister of State, Telecommunications, Sanjay Dhotre, Secretary, Telecommunications, Anshu Prakash, Mr. Mukesh Ambani. Chairman, Reliance Industrial Limited. Mr. Sunil Mittal, Chairman, Bharti Enterprises. All friends, whom I am talking to digitally, and who are participating in the Indian Mobile Congress 2020 digitally, my greetings and good wishes for the success of this program. we have always been meeting physically but 
the covid has compelled us to meet digitally and that is the challenge the beauty and the opportunity of imc 2020 digital technology communication tools and it platforms all have established their extraordinary worth during these challenging times as i said in lighter veins in some of my observations during covid there was no flight there was no train movement there was no road movement but india was united people were talking people were meeting with the digital technology from mobile to fixed line to internet to it and video conferencing covid therefore created a new opportunity enabling people to talk meet communicate share virtually to video conferencing we in India had also to respond to these challenges. We completely liberalized our work from home ecosystem. And today, 85% of India's IT operations are being held, not from the regular office, but work from home, which we have further liberalized that you can work from anywhere. So this has not only become the new normal but in many ways the new norms while articulating digital india under the vision of the prime minister Shri narendra modi who is a global leader of extraordinary foresight and the great innovator of the application of technology himself with his vast administrative experience we have articulated Digital India as designed to primarily bring in digital inclusion. And this COVID also gave an extraordinary opportunity to establish the inclusive character of Digital India and the far-reaching impact of communication and digital tools. As we have articulated earlier, India's population 1.3 billion plus, India's mobile phone also close to 1.2 billion, and with 1.26 billion Aadhaar, the physical identity to confirm, the digital identity to confirm the physical identity. We linked all the three and started sending welfare entitlement to the poor people directly into the bank account which we open close to 370 million i am very excited to share with you ladies and gentlemen that we sent rupees 13 lakh crores close to 175 billion in the last five and a half years to this digital instruments directly to the bank account of the poor and we have saved close to 1.78 lakh crore approximately 24 billion dollars during covid when it was difficult to reach the bank or the atm system be it dbt or the postal system or the Aadhaar enable payment, again working through technology or mobile apps, helped us reach billions of dollars, thousands of crores to the bank account of the poor. Therefore, in this mobile Congress, let me take this opportunity to compliment all those who have worked India's communication system India's mobile telephone system, India's IT system, 
and all those who have been working be it the video conferencing or whole day of other innovative products to help people lead a normal life in spite of such great compulsions i think this mobile congress being held digitally need to rejoice the extraordinary excellence shown by the digital platforms of the country and who says the entire world i think this is a new milestone which is unfolding the extraordinary opening for the coming future and i'm sure this new technology whether it is the 5g or the new innovation or artificial intelligence or iot all are going to work together to create a further favorable ecosystem where mobile in the center creates further opportunity and enabling atmosphere we in india are very keen about certain issues our the prime minister has given a call of atmanirbhar bharat and i am indeed very pleased to learn that the theme of this year's uh, international mobile congress indian mobile congress is inclusive innovation smart secure and sustainable i have always been articulated articulating the digital technology has to be safe so that wasted interest extremist may not abuse it but most important it must be sustainable therefore it has to be smart namely taking on board new innovations it must be secure and it, it must be sustainable in the sense that common people come to have a stake in that process i commend the organizers my department for selecting this very uh, popular team we in india in our own way are expanding the communication footprint after initiating a very transformative program of bharat net reaching optical fiber to every gram panchayat of india cluster of villages the prime minister on the last independence day decided to reach optical fiber to all the 600000 villages of india in 1000 days our prime minister gives a is a hard task master we are proud to work in his team and that is going to be a very gigantic transformation from highways and village roads everywhere in the country to electricity to in every nook and corner of the country now optical fiber reaching all the villages of india we have also launched the famous broadband mission whereby under the national broadband mission we have to ensure broadband access to all villages by 2022 <clears throat> we are also very keen that india must be 5g ready and for that the test beds have been created that provision will also be unfolded further we want good innovation indians have got all the talent the innovative spirit which has been which we all have experienced in the last few years be it communication be it it be it innovation indians have done exceedingly well our startup movement has really become the third biggest in the world therefore we are very keen that we must also help in innovation creation and empowerment of 5g process with good application of indian human resource and innovative mind we are also very keen that for our state led entity we must create good 4g uh, process in which indian companies indian innovators should also play a good part in terms of developing <coughs> all the necessary tools needed for that 
वी आर नॉट अगेंस्ट एफ डी आई वी आर नॉट अगेंस्ट फॉरन इनोवेटिव माइंड दे आर मोस्ट वेलकम एफ डी आई इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑटोमेटिक एंड आई एम प्राउड टू से दैट माई आई टी एंड कम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट्स सेक्टर्स हैव रजिस्टर्ड सेवन परसेंट प्लस ग्रोथ रेट एंड वन ऑफ द हाइएस्ट एफ डी आई इवन ड्यूरिंग द चैलेंजिंग टाइम्स ऑफ कोविड दे फॉर फॉरन कैपिटल इज वेलकम फॉरन इनोवेशन इज वेलकम बट वी आर इक्वली श्योर इक्वली कीन दैट सेफ्टी एंड सिक्योरिटी ऑफ द कंट्री इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड प्लस इनेबलिंग एटमोसफियर बी ऑल्सो मेड फॉर इंडियन माइंड टू हेल्प क्रिएट रोबस्ट फोर जी नेटवर्क एज ए प्रिकर्सर ऑफ द फाइव जी नेटवर्क दैट इज हाउ वी प्रपोज टू कैनवास एंड आउटलाइन द होल हराइजन इन दिस फील्ड and that's what we are working about we are very keen that india has all the potential to become a globe good hub of global supply chain and it is already showing results india's talent india's innovation the leadership of our prime minister shri narendra modi and the extraordinary ease of doing business provided under the leadership is attracting global capital to india and this is evident from the great success of the production link incentive scheme which we launched at the height of covid which has attracted attracted billions of dollars of investment and uh, close to a million jobs direct and indirect by giant mobile global champion companies who are setting up their big shops in india and we are very keen that india become the top mobile manufacturers in the world obviously in a fair and transparent manner by creating the enabling atmosphere we are equally keen that india apart from mobile must also become a big center of component of tools for clusters and for all this we have created a very robust production link incentive which you all need to recognize taking opportunity of this uh, great um, mobile congress i will urge the innovators the manufacturers and others to come tap and explore the extraordinary enabling atmosphere available in india with due incentive based upon production link incentive come manufacture in india export outside earn good incentives that's the basic team on which we are working and i'm very happy to share that large number of foreign companies are shifting to india in a very very significant manner yes we are all open for new technology new innovation be it artificial intelligence be it iot be it machine learning all has enough opportunity in india we are very particular that india should become a big center of artificial include uh, intelligence but like digital india where we have stressed upon the attribute of digital inclusion empowering the common people we are equally keen that artificial intelligence should also lead to empowerment and inclusive india fitting the common people be it healthcare be it education be it agriculture and most important ai should not become the monopoly of few and ai should not become an instrument of weaponization these are some of our uh, keen uh, objectives in pursuit of ai we have set up centers of excellence we have framed a robust policy also we are giving encouragement in the case of communication also be it spectrum trading spectrum sharing uh, right of way rules to so we have practically liberalized the entire ecosystem as far as policy is concerned in the it sector we have done the same thing whether it is electronic policy or uh, product policy software product policy all these things we have already done with the industry was uh, asking for a long time to come 
But one thing I would like to comment in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, and that is what? When we talked of optimum use of public digital platforms, we did not only talk, but we delivered. I talked of Jandhan Aadhaar Mobile, Jan Trinity, a public platform. We talked of Aadhaar, again a public platform, giving public service, again made by Indian Minds. You have seen GSTN, the entire GST operation is being done digitally. You must have heard about Indian great health system, where billions of rupees are being given, half a million to every Indian who is registered and their numbers also runs into billions, again being managed digitally. India's fintech industry has grown exceedingly well. UPI has become one of the biggest uh, platforms of digital payment globally in terms of the transactions we are doing. To be it Jam, Jandan Aadhaar Mobile leading to direct benefit transfer, be it GSTN, be it UPI or being the healthcare scheme I talked about, all these are being managed digitally. Therefore, the inclusive character of digital platform we have already demonstrated for the common people and empowering the ordinary Indians. This is a model which the world can replicate. But in the center of all this is one small instrument which we call, which we call the mobile phone. That is the extraordinary power of mobile which Indians have innovated to make it the most shining instrument of inclusion. That is the message of India. We want this to go further and further. We would like to further expansion of public digital platforms. We want to go for more skilling in this field and we are willing to reciprocate and exchange information and also value addition from stakeholders outside sharing our own experiences. These are some of the larger issue. India is poised to become a one trillion dollar digital economy in the coming five years. Gig economy is going to play a very crucial role which we have shown by experience. And ladies and gentlemen, with all the enabling atmosphere having been created, we have not the slightest doubt that the coming years will see a great maturity of India's robust digital ecosystem to further create enabling atmospheres both for services, manufacturing and good business opportunity. That I think is a larger narrative. Therefore, with these, I welcome all of you. I'm quite sure the coming three days will create new innovative ideas being exchanged frequently from friends from India and abroad who will, with their innovative mind, come with solutions which would be more and more useful for the humanity, for the people of the globe, and also provide good solution to the challenges which we are facing. With these words, greetings once again. Thank you. Namaste. Jai Hind. Thank you, Mr. Prasad, for your words of guidance and encouragement. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor for all of us now to have the Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, to make the inaugural address at the 4th India Mobile Congress. My colleague in the Union Cabinet, Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad ji, leaders from the telecom industry and other distinguished dignitaries. It gives me great pleasure to be addressing you at the Indian Mobile Congress 2020. Here, we have a gathering of the brightest minds in the telecom sector. The group has all the key players from the sector that has played a critical role in the recent past and is expected to lead India towards a more prosperous future. Friends, even as we experience 
the rapid speed at which connectivity is improving we also know that the acceleration has just begun since the first ever telephone call was made we have come a very long way in fact even 10 years back it was difficult to imagine the kind of impact the mobile revolution has had in our country society and the world and the future that lies ahead will make the present system appear primitive in this context it is important to think and plan how do we improve lives with the upcoming technology revolution better healthcare better education better information and opportunities for our farmers better market access for small business are some of the goals we can work towards friends it is due to your innovation and efforts that the world was functional despite the pandemic it is due to your efforts that a son connected with his mother in a different city a student learned from his teacher without being in the classroom a patient consulted his doctor from his home a trader connected with the consumer from a different geography it is due to your efforts that as the government we are also working to unlock the full potential of the it and telecom sector the new other service provider guidelines will help the indian it service industry achieve new heights it will boost growth of this sector even after the pandemic is long gone this initiative will help to democratize the it service industry and take it to the far corners of our country friends today we are in the era where mobile apps which are a few or old are surpassing the value of companies which are present since decades this is a good sign for india and our young innovators too our youth are working on many products which have the potential to go global a lot of young techies tell me that it is the code which makes a product special some entrepreneurs tell me that it is concept which matters more investor suggests that it is capital which is important to scale a product but often what matters the most is the conviction the youngsters have on that product sometimes conviction is all that stands between just a profitable exit and making upon unicorn so my message to my young friends would be to have faith in their potential as well as products friends today we are a country of a billion plus phone users today we have a billion plus people with unique digital identity today we have over 750 million internet users the scale and speed of internet penetration can be seen by the following facts half of the total internet users in india were added in the last 4 years half of the total internet users are in our rural areas our digital size and our digital 
appetite are unprecedented we are a country where the tariffs are the lowest in the world we are one of the fastest growing mobile app market in the world the digital potential of our nation is unparalleled perhaps even in the history of mankind friends it is because of mobile technology that we are able to provide benefits worth billions of dollars to millions of indians it is because of our mobile technology that we are able to help the poor and vulnerable quickly during the pandemic it is because of mobile technology that we are seeing billions of cashless transaction which boosts formalization and transparency it is because of mobile technology that we will enable smooth contactless interface on toll booths it is also with the help of mobile technology that we will embark on one of the world's largest covid-19 vaccination drive friends we have achieved much success in mobile manufacturing in india india is emerging as one of the most preferred destination for mobile manufacturing we have also come up with a production link incentive scheme to promote telecom equipment manufacturing in india let us work together to make india a global hub for telecom equipment design development and manufacturing we are embarking on a plan to ensure that over the next 3 years every village will have high speed fiber optic connectivity we have already linked up the andaman and nicobar island with fiber optic cable we are coming out with programs that focus exclusively on places which can make the best out of such connectivity aspirational districts leaping extremism affected districts north eastern states lakshadweep island etc we are keen to ensure greater spread of fixed line broadband connectivity and public wifi hotspots friends due to technological upgradation we have a culture of replacing handsets and gadgets frequently can the industry form a task force to think of a better way of handling the electronic waste and create a circular economy friends as i said earlier this is just the beginning the future holds great potential with the rapid technology progress we need to work together to ensure a timely roll out of 5g to live frog in the future and empower millions of indians i hope that this conclave will ponder on all such matters and come out with fruitful outcomes that will take us forward in developing this critical infrastructure i wish you all the very best thank you thank you very much thank you mr prime minister sir for inaugurating this mobile congress in the past we have benefited immensely from your visionary leadership and know that you will continue to champion the cause of development in the telecom industry may i now call upon the director general of the cellular operators association of india lieutenant general dr s p kochar to please propose the vote of thanks honorable prime minister and a most distinguished chief guest of the day shri narendra modi ji honorable shri ravi shankar prasad ji minister of communication electronics and information technology law and justice honorable shri sanjay dhotre ji union minister of state for communications education and electronics and information technology respected shri anshu prakash ji chairman dcc and secretary telecom dot excellencies 
distinguished Indian and international guests, attendees from the government, industry, academia, and our friends from the print and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you all. Today, on this 8th of December 2020, a historic watershed event of such magnitude, dimension, and diversity has been launched. As a matter of fact, the interest generated for participation in this virtual event has far surpassed all predictions and is near equal to or maybe even more than for an equivalent physical event. I am sure that the experience for all participants will be much more personalized and superior to what could have happened in an equal physical event. The maiden participation of the Honorable Prime Minister, despite his busy schedule, in the Greenfield IMC 2020 virtual underscores the importance 